We wait a little bit, around 15 minutes after pre-shaping and now those two loaves are ready to be shaped. I have two Benettons right here. I can't stress enough how important it is to use rice flour. I'm gonna sprinkle this with rice flour, ideally brown rice flour. There you can see what happened before, I just used regular flour and the dough started to stick. Especially if you're using high hydration loaves, rice flour as a device, it's going to absorb a lot more humidity. So, sprinkle your banneton with a little bit of rice flour. You can use a little more than too little. We can brush that off later before baking. The worst thing that can happen is that the dough starts to stick. Put that to the side. And now, this is the first moment that we're actually going to use flour. Well, we use flour for the dough, of course, but only now for the final shaping we're going to use flour. This is going to be at the bottom, and we don't want this to stick to the surface. Then our dough is going to tear apart. So now we need to use some flour, sprinkle our surface right here, and then we can start shaping. I'm going to show you two different ways of shaping. All of them though have the same idea. You're trying to pull your dough together to create a lot of tension. This tension will later on result in oven spraying. So tension is important. There are multiple ways to go about it. I'm going to show you a super, super simple way, which might not create the most beautiful loaf in the end because it might not be perfectly round. And then I'm going to show you a little bit more of an advanced version but both work and you can just try and experiment what works best for you. Give me one second because I forgot my dough scraper. We're also going to need the dough scraper. Let's start though by flouring the surface slightly. I'm going to place some flour right here. This is regular flour. Actually, this is cake flour uh, because I just have it in a nice container next to my shaping area. This doesn't really matter. Don't use too much, just a little bit like this. I'm following my hands just a little bit. And now I'm going to use my bench scraper to remove the dough from the surface. It's sticking, so this is a little bit hard. I'm going under, I'm pulling it up, and then I'm flipping it over. Almost like if I wanted to pre-shape it. Now it's on here, I have to be a little bit fast. And now it's right here where I want it. The bottom area should not stick. I'm just adding a little bit more flour here. This area now is super, super sticky. I can show you, you see how it sticks? So we don't want to touch that. What we're going to do is we're going to take this dough like this and we're going to flip it in the middle. Now it starts to stick here. This is exactly what we wanted. We want it to stay together. So now what we're doing is we're taking the other side, this side right here, the sticky side, and we're putting it over again. Going under, taking this and pulling this over as much as I can, and I'm tucking it in right here. So now we already have some tension, but we want to boom. I'm just going to rotate this. I noticed it started to stick a little bit. No problem. Now I have it in front of me like this. And I'm going to take this. I will pull it and then I will start to roll the dough on top of each other. Going inside, pushing outwards and putting it here. One more time. Pushing and rolling it here. Pushing and rolling it here. Pushing and rolling it here. Here it starts to stick a little bit, pushing and rolling it here, pushing and rolling it here, pushing and rolling it here. So that's basically the loaf already. And now for making it a little bit rounder, I can use my bench scraper and just tuck it in from all sides until it looks a little bit nice and rounder. This would not work if we had too much flour. 
So this is the first loaf. Now we just need to take it and transfer it to the vanity. I noticed here it's a little bit sticky. I'm just gonna flour it a little bit more. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it into the banton. Perfect. I'm gonna sprinkle some more flour on top of it so that the cloth later on won't stick. All right, that was number one. Now I'm going to show you number two. Same thing again. Flour this, not too much. We're going to go under, remove it because it sticks and place it right here. I'm going to pull it a little bit apart so that I have a larger area that's going to stick to itself. And now, same thing again. I'm flipping it over like this, but this time I'm taking the right hand side and I'm pulling it into the middle. And I'm taking this side here and I'm pulling it over. Okay, I'm tucking it in so it sticks. Now I'm taking this here and I'm gonna pull this right into the middle, then I'm gonna pull this side over. Okay, now I'm rotating this, I'm going here and I'm pulling this a little bit into the middle. Go in, pull, go in, pull. This is called stitching, okay? like this. And now I want to roll it on top of each other one more time. Same thing as before, I'm going inside. Oh, my hands are still a little bit sticky, I'm gonna flour them a little more. Pull inside, pull inside, pull inside, pull inside, pull inside. Like this. And now I can use the bench scraper again to make the loaf nice and round again. So, two different methods, they achieve mostly the same thing. Now take it again with your bench scraper, brace it in a banneton. Like this. And just to show you the comparison again, I find the second method created a nicer looking loaf. You can see here on the first method, it was also nice and round, but here there's this kind of edge. Uh, there might be a small defect when baking it. But yeah, those are two methods. Uh, do let me know if you have any other method that works. I find this to be a very, very good method when you do not want to deflate your dough. Thanks for watching.